Hey y'all, Tara May here, and I have my Blu-ray horror pack I'm going to be unboxing. Um, I actually did discontinue getting the DVD horror packs just because I'm kind of moving away from DVD at this time, so I'm mostly going to be concentrating on Blu-rays. So I did continue with the Blu-ray horror pack, and horror pack, of course, is the monthly subscription that you can sign up for to get four random movies. You can get Blu-rays or DVDs, or you can get both packs, as you'll get different movies in each pack. They do a lot of limiteds in the Blu-ray depending on how much time you sign up for as to how much you will actually pay per month. Um, but typically for the one month subscription, if you don't get in bulk, you're going to pay about $24.99 a month for the Blu-rays, about $19.99 a month for the DVDs. And it's not bad considering the titles that you get. A lot of indie films, sometimes some older ones. And like I said, with the Blu-rays, you'll get a lot of limiteds, which sometimes are even signed, which is pretty cool. Um, I've gotten some little steel sets and everything else out of some of these packs. So yeah, it's pretty good. So... With that being said, uh, I did cut the box just so I didn't have to pull with that on camera. So I'm going to open this now, and I have not peeked in here, so. Alright. And they come in these bubble mailers, which are reusable, which I say every time, which you know. Okay, so my first one. Ah, Priest. I think I've seen this once. Um, I think it was pretty good. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, it looks like it's got the ultraviolet in there as well. I'm actually pretty surprised to see that. Um, I remember a lot of people talking about that one. And like I said, I think I saw it once, or at least I definitely saw it advertised. And it looked pretty interesting if I didn't see it, but if I did, I guess I don't remember it too well. So, yeah. so let's see, it says, In a post-apocalyptic world, a savage war between man and vampire has raged for centuries. A warrior priest... Uh, and there's a sticker covering up part of this, so I can't read it all. Uh, receives word of the fresh attacks, but now it's personal. His. Let's see if I can move this sticker down. I'm sorry. Okay. His niece has been kidnapped by a new hive of merciless vampires, so they're in hives. To save her, he must break his vow of peace and hunt down the hive before it's too late. Based on the acclaimed graphic novel and packed with bloodthirsty action, the full throttle crusade takes you on a hunt for a deadly new breed of a killer. Special features, deleted and extended scenes, the bloody frontier, creating the world of priest, tools of the trade, the weapons and vehicles, filmmakers and cast commentary, Blu-ray exclusives, bullets and crucifixes, picture-in-picture -picture experience, movie IQ. So, there you have it. That's my first one. And that's actually a fairly newer title. And it uh, actually was a semi-popular title, you know, maybe not A-list, but... Alright, so my next one looks like the horror pack exclusive. Night of Something Strange. Looks like it's got a motel, Redwood Motel. Our pack limited edition. All right, let's get this glare off for you. It says, "The new king of gross-out horror films. Horror will never be the same again." This is kind of tiny. Fangoria, dreadful ten must see, 2016. Five teenage friends set out for the beach on their spring break vacation. Good times are cut short when one of the group, Carrie, contracts a deadly sexually transmitted disease during a bathroom stop. When they stop for the night at an isolated motel, the real terror begins when the STD virus starts running rampant, turning those infected into living dead. However, there's more going on in this motel than meets the eye. Ooh, looks like we got an interesting set of elements going to pile up there. <laughs> Crazy STD ravaging. <laughs> Kind of sounds funny. Alright, so that might be pretty interesting if it's got Fangoria behind it as a must-see thing. I can get that. There you go. Okay. See it? Huh? Really looking forward to checking that one out, actually. Alright, and the next one. Galaxy of Horrors. Little Terrors Presents. The future of horror and sci-fi is within. A million light years of fear. It's got a cool cover. I kind of like that. Very old-school looking cover. Um, from the creators of Minutes Past Midnight, trapped in a damaged cryogenic pod, a man is forced to watch a series of horrific science fiction tales while his support systems run out. 
featuring eight intense stories of the unknown and otherworldly, equally wonderful and terrifying, visit the Galaxy of Horrors if you dare. Curated from Rue Morgue and Unstable Grounds, Little Texas, oh, I'm sorry, Little Terrors Festival. Bonus features, filmmaker commentary, bonus short films, behind the scenes, still gallery, and trailers. So that's just interesting. It's a little anthology there. I don't mind anthologies if they're done well. Uh, especially some of the older ones, actually. Uh, Creep Show probably being my favorite. Alright, and last but not least, Stakeland. <laughs> I did not own this yet. I actually recently watched this and the sequel on Netflix. I actually rather enjoy this. And this actually includes seven short film prequels. Um, this is a very well done uh, reinterpretation of the whole vampire thing and it's almost this whole world they've created semi post apocalyptic you've got this kind of rugged road thing it's very gritty it's got a lot of violence to it um a lot of blood you know for those who are gore hounds kind of like me I'm a gore hound so yeah I'll admit it but uh yeah it looks like it's got a lot of special features Dark Sky Films put this out two feature length cast and crew commentaries um uh, and it lists the names there. Going for the Throat, The Making of Stakeland, Character Prequel, Seven Short Films, Video Diaries, Pre-Production Storyboards, Visual Effects, Post-Production, Toronto International Film Festival Premiere Q&A. Now the guy that plays this part here, I believe, um, is his name something like Nick Domici or something? He's actually the one that directed this and or wrote this, I believe, so yeah. It says his name on here. It's very tiny. I'm sorry. I need glasses. Okay. So, yeah. But that guy is the one that had a lot to do with it. And uh, if for those of you who don't own this yet, if you have not checked this out on Netflix and you have a Netflix subscription, it's a very interesting movie. I believe I first saw it on cable. And it is very well done. I'm not a huge fan of too many vampire flicks that are more modern simply because it a lot of cover territory. But this one I thought was rather uh, a new and interesting way to do it. So, yeah. I would definitely urge checking that one out, y'all. So. so there you have it. So it's actually a pretty good pack. I didn't have any of these movies. So we got Stakeland, Galaxy of Horrors Anthology, Night of Something Strange Horror Pack Limited Edition, which sounds pretty funny, and Priest, Unrated. So pretty good pack. Um, and these ones that I haven't seen when I watch them, I may put a little something up about them on Twitter. I may review them on here uh, or something like that as I've been trying to do more movie reviews and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, on Twitter you can follow me at TerraMay79. Same as on here, just no capital letters uh, if you're interested to see what I have to say about stuff. So I'm on there sometimes. Um, yeah, so like if you liked it and uh, subscribe and maybe I'll see you back for the next time I unbox or one of my movie reviews. And uh, have a good day.